Second frame, Stuart Bingham to break. Stuart Bingham gets frame number two of this first round match against the defending champion Ronnie O'Sullivan, best of 19. First to ten, played over two sessions. Nine this first session and the remaining concluding ten will be played this evening. Just the other red near the side cushion, but anyway, the pot went in. It's one of those where you're thinking, well, it might go in, but the most important thing was to get the cue ball back to the bulk end. He didn't do that, but now the red's gone in. And good pot on the blue, and I think the black is available. So this is a decent chance. <clears throat> Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Mm -hmm. ah, that's gone a little bit too far, 30. but the other red might pass the one he played for so we'll have to go up for the blue he's okay thirty one and still a couple of reds available either side of the bunch there so he doesn't have to go into them just yet thirty six <coughs> And that red's just hampering him slightly when he was leaning over with his right hand. So you just switch hands and take that red out of the equation. 37. Perfect angle here just to pop the black, come off the cushion with a little, maybe just a little touch of side to get up for that red to the opposite. Well, he'd have to stun it, yeah. And he's left it a bit short, but it could work to his advantage because if he pots this, he's going to open the reds and pink up. 44. So this could be the key to winning the second frame if this works out but the position sometimes can just run a little bit awkward Plus five. Well, as you say this is a tricky black he's left himself here oh but played it delightfully he's looking in good form Dennis even though it is early in this match 52 I think there was a quote for him, wasn't there? He, uh, he doesn't usually make quotes like that, but he said the, he only felt that there was John Higgins could beat him here this year. Ronnie doesn't usually do that. Maybe he's playing a little bit of mind games. I think he's been taking a leaf out of uh, Fergus, but 60. Alex Ferguson. Yeah. 61. Just talking about Alex Ferguson, he's not a bad snooker player, John, you know, he's uh, got two lovely Borough champion cues, tabled at home. How many start do you give him then, Dennis? 
he usually gives me two, <laughs> two black stars, 14. 69. So here's the black, that's the second frame in the back. There you see it, 76 ahead, 67 76. remaining. And possibly the first century of uh, this year's championship. 77. Eighty-four. He's 85. made eighty-eight centuries at the Crucible Theatre here. Five hundred and sixty-two centuries altogether. He's second only to Stephen Hendry, who's on just over seven hundred, which is quite remarkable. But if anyone can get to that record of century bricks, ninety-two. It's Romeo Sullivan. 93. Well played. Yeah, absolutely. And from the moment he knocked in the long red and potted the blue, there's an inevitability about this. And he's not let us down. And this could be a good run of this for the high break of the tournament. Seven. Unfortunately, you have to play for a balk colour, you would have thought. I don't think you'll be trying to screw back for the black, surely not. No, just... Well, the blue, I suppose. The more points you can get, the better you'll be thinking. <coughs> so, possible... 140, if he clears the colours. 115. And absolutely cued that like a dream. Controlled it perfect to be on the green here. 118. <coughs> oh yes, watch out, there's a rocket about. The second frame. And is he going to clear the table? Has he got enough pace on that cue ball? It's going to be difficult. 127. Well, he's going to have to play a good shot here. Oh, he's just going to roll. Oh, he's rolling the pink in. It's there. The black for 140. It's there. Well, way to start your defence of the title. Ronnie O'Sullivan takes the second frame with a 15 red, 15 colour clearance. 140.